quick video on uh, a repair that I'm doing to my truck. I know you guys um, follow my channel. You'll know that I put recently put a front caliper on this because it was frozen. And um, the light. That's the new caliper, and it froze again. So. <sighs> I couldn't figure out why it froze again, and it's only freezing on that side. This side is always fine. Um, and then as I'm driving home, it froze up uh, like three days ago, and uh, actually it was more like a week ago, and I started smelling it, started pulling to the right, I mean the left. Um, I get home, and I notice there's a puddle under the truck, but well, wouldn't you know? Transmission coolant line sprung a leak. You can see there, I just replaced that, it's brand new. I had to take the intercooler out. Um, all the f removable framework underneath. Um, anyways, that's done. I didn't record that, that's just, not, you know, it is what it is. 35 bucks for the line at the dealership. But the problem is the brakes. So I noticed I couldn't figure out what, what was doing it. I looked online to try to figure out um, what people were doing in the same situation. And I noticed quite a few people are having the same problem. It's a, I guess it's a common thing for uh, the 2012 F-150. And I guess people were just throwing, throwing money in pots at them. They were replacing all the, all the calipers, the rotors, the pads. Some people went as far as changing um, the the booster, the master cylinder, um, replacing the lines, thinking that the lines may be bad, and they ended up causing a check valve situation. People were doing all kinds of stuff. And then I come across one blog where the guy said that he um, took it back to the dealership and they did a recall, there was a recall on it, and they replaced a um, vacuum assist booster for the brakes. I did a little more research and I found out that this truck, uh, or should I say, should I say this uh, 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost motor does not have intake vacuum. So in order to create vacuum for the master cylinder, they use an external electric pump. And I did notice the other day that I heard this humming sound like a air pump that was going bad. I'd never heard it before. And um, what I did was I, in my, again, the front brake only locked up for a short amount of time and then it would free itself again. So what I did was I brought it in the garage here. I jacked it up. Uh, it only does it while the truck's running. So I turned the truck on, I hit the brake. I could hear that vacuum pump sound, which would go for maybe five or 10 seconds. And I could not turn this front wheel. I couldn't turn it. Once that vacuum pump started making that noise, it spun free. So I figured that that's got to be the culprit. And it was not easy to get to. Um, it's down underneath the airbox, down in here behind the radiator support. So the way to get to it is you got to pull the wheel well down, which is just uh, like a felt type kind of thing. And let me grab the light. And it goes right here. It mounts right here. You can see, you see the two holes there. Um, I'm sorry about the shadows. You can see the two holes in the framework there. One's in the back and one's in the front there. And then that plug right there. Also, it has this vacuum line here, which goes up to the booster, um, brake booster, and it also connects to the intake manifold. So I guess this pump does two things. It gives the engine vacuum and it also gives brakes vacuum. So I pulled it out and this is the culprit right here. Uh, it's a pretty big piece. Um, I looked it up online, Ford. Wants like 500, 600 bucks for this thing. Found it at Rock Auto. Oh, I found it at rockauto.com for 350. I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna order it today. Um, it doesn't come with the bracket. I don't know if Ford's does, but it's just a um, a bolt here. You take the bolt out, and I think it's just um, 
This rubber grommet's here on the post for the metal frame. So that is the problem. And I'll tell you what, one of the easiest, the way that I figured out exactly what this problem was, was I knew it was an electric pump. And before I went and I tore it all apart, I just wanted to make sure that it was exactly that pump. So I took out the owner's manual, and in the owner's manual says that the um, auxiliary vacuum pump has a breaker in this box here. So what I did was I opened this up, and it is number 25. So I pulled out the relay number 25, which disabled that pump. And then when I gave it the brakes, as soon as I took the foot off the brake, the, the wheel spun free. So I know that somehow this thing here is hanging up. It's, it's creating additional boost or something. Something's not right here. Well, there's a check valve in there that's not working. Um, or it's running too long. I don't know. But that is the issue. And for any of you guys with an F-150, again, pull out relay number 25, which is right here. You guys can see it with my hand which is right here pull that out it'll disable that it'll disable this pump and then once it's disabled you'll be able to see if your front wheel spins freely after you push on the brake um, I looked everywhere on the internet and I couldn't find anywhere that would allow you to troubleshoot this I figured this out on my own and I figured I would um, I would pass along the information um, I think I'm going to order the pot now. I don't really need to do an install video on this because basically it's just two bolts, uh, an electrical socket, and a vacuum line. And it's pretty simple, straightforward. It's really easy to take out. Um, so, again, consider this what it is. Public service announcement. Got the pots from Rock Auto. Truck's all back together. Took it for a ride. Good as new. Let me show you what came with the kit from Rock Auto. This is what came from Rock Auto. This is the pump right here. Um, this is the old one. I couldn't get, I ended up snapping the the, um, the bolt that was in the frame or the bracket that held this on the truck. Um, I ended up snapping that. But the kit came with uh, all new hardware. It came with all new grommets for in here. So I replaced the grommets. I replaced everything. It came came with everything you need. So you don't have to use any of the old stuff. Which was uh, pretty nice. And it also came with this vacuum line. Which I didn't know was going to come with that. And these pretty nifty directions. Color coded and everything. Um, showing you how to change the line or where that line goes um, telling you again what comes in the kit and again this is for 2012 F-150 3.5 liter EcoBoost and uh, the directions are pretty nice pretty straightforward they show you exactly how to how to connect it and everything and they came with these um, these rods you just pull them out and the clips snap snap locked which is uh, Pretty cool. First time I've ever seen that on anything I've ever purchased. Uh, again, this is the uh, the line that goes from the intake manifold to the booster and then connects to the vacuum pump. So like I said before, this vacuum pump supplies both the booster and the engine with vacuum. Pretty strange setup. I wasn't aware that uh, Ford was doing that. I guess I'm still old school where intakes actually had vacuum. But yeah, I mean this is pretty detailed stuff right here. Uh, again, Rock Auto. Um, you can't go wrong. 300, I think it was uh, all out the door. Oh, I should say, delivered to my door with shipping. I think it was like 370 bucks, something like that. 375 bucks. Uh, almost half the price. A little more than half the price the dealership wanted for it. Um, pretty cool, though. Got it done. Truck's like brand new. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helps people out. Uh, I know how difficult it can be trying to find stuff online that um, to, to fix and it's just no content out there that helps. Um, I looked and looked and looked and I couldn't figure out why my truck was acting up. I just couldn't, couldn't for the life of me and people were throwing all kinds of money at there, changing all their, the whole braking system is still doing it. 
all because of this stupid pump. Anyway, um, I hope this helps people. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, uh, or don't. It's up to you. Um, but again, I just, I just threw this up here real quick just to help some people out, um, and I hope it does. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.